Okay, next effect would be distorts. Now, distorts are pretty interesting. Uh, what this can do is make something look bulging, bulging and bigger. So if I want to make this man have much larger muscle, I just have to distort on that area around his bicep, and then I can adjust how much to bulge that. Now, it works better if you actually have the layers separated because it does distort the background too. If it if it is in the area of distortion. Right now this area of distortion is probably right in here. So if, if I remove the background, which is not too hard to do, then it's not affected by it. Next distortion would be uh, crystallized. And I really like some of the distort effects. Kind of looks like uh, this is the cell size of the crystallizing to where you can't even recognize it. And then the quality So I like the, the way you can make someone look like they're crystallized or sandy or something like that. It's great for banners, logos, things like that. Distort also the dense. Dense is a really interesting effect. Uh, almost looks like it ma makes it look like he's some sort of uh, on fire or made of gas or something. And there's a lot of adjustments you can make on this. You can see what it does. Adjust the scale, adjust the refraction can have a pretty dramatic effect. The roughness, the tension, the quality. So you can see it has a really wide range of results. I really like this effect. I think it's pretty, pretty cool. Next distort effect would be frosted glass. And this does pretty much what you'd expect makes it look like you're looking through a shower glass and you can adjust the way it looks adjust the smoothness to the point where that looks pretty realistic and the next distort is the pixelate kind of makes it look like you're dealing with a poor quality picture zoomed in really far so if you wanted to have that look of being zoomed in on a detail that you can't quite focus on that's a good way to do it and the next is called the polar inversion and this one is pretty dramatic in the changes it makes and uh, you can see kinda what it's doing is almost like it's twisting the picture into a pattern and there's different effects you can have a clamp effect like it's got squeezed a reflect effect and a wrap effect kinda obviously an artistic effect you would use for really specific purposes but it's still kinda cool tile reflection again I've used this on uh, different titles uh, I was gonna use it on my my title for my video channel my YouTube channel you can adjust the tile size the curvature in each of the lenses and then the quality so it has a really interesting effect that could be used for all sorts of purposes. And next is the twist effect. And this does pretty much what you'd expect it to do for a twist effect. So you can adjust how much to twist, how big the twist goes to the point where it just looks like a spiral. I could see doing some very interesting things with that as far as uh, move it up on the muscle here. maybe reduce the size of the twist a little bit and kind of cool looking.